Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 292. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 285 to 294. Hey, number 292, we want to take this name and list the first one first and then last name and have no com uh, comma. Same with here. Now, I've actually even done a video on this before, but I was trolling around the Mr. Excel message board last week and I saw two great posts by Aladdin and Ron Cotter, if I pronounce that right. So uh, we gotta check these out here. Here's the one that Aladdin did, and this is similar to the one that I've used before, but he has an added twist. Uh, we're gonna use replace, and to get the first name, find this comma here and replace it with blank and then we'll use left and we'll say how many characters from the left do we want to go well we'll find that comma and subtract one let's try and we'll, then we'll also I'll put it all in trim to get rid of all the extra spaces now I'm gonna just type replace the old text is here comma the starting number well we're going to start at one because we want to replace everything to there and how many characters the number of characters will we use the find the find can find that comma in quotes double quote comma double quote that'll be the text to find and then comma within what text this one right here close parentheses now here's in previous formulas I would just do plus one so then that would move the find position to the S but we don't have to do that here we can use the trim and the advantage to the trim is if there's any other spaces anywhere else the trim will get rid of it trim gets rid of all spaces extra spaces except for single spaces between words so this replace we have the number of characters and the new text we want is double double quote for blank close parentheses. If we highlight this right here and hit F9, we can see it gets Sue, but there's an extra space. But again, at the end, we'll use the trim to get rid of that. Control Z. Now we want to ampersand, and we need a space between the first and last name. So in double quotes, a space, ampersand, and then left. We want uh, the text right here. And how many characters uh, in from the left do we want? Well, we'll use our find. Here is our double quote, comma, double quote. That's what we're looking for within this text right here. Close parentheses. Now, right now, if we hit uh, close parentheses on the left and we're to evaluate it with our F9, we can see it has a, that comma at the end. So I'm going to control Z. And so we want to actually subtract for the find minus one because it found one character is too many so now when we highlight this and hit F9 you can see that it got rad cool in there how'd you like to have that as a last name control Z now I'll just uh, put a close parenthesis at the end and then come to the beginning and put trim and there we go trim will get rid of the extra spaces except for single spaces between Sue words and so there's Sue rad cool in her now here's another way to do this uh, trim will go on the outside at the end also but let's just start with the inside of the formula mid now here's the the cool thing that Ron did he took this and then ampersand double quote space double quote ampersand this huh what so he created a new text string to start a uh, extracting things because mid can take something from the middle of any text ring if you tell it where to start and how many characters. Watch this. Highlight this and hit F9. So what's happened here is he put uh, Smitty comma Suzy. That was the, the first one, right? And then ampersanded and added a space and then they have it again. Well, notice this. Uh, Sue Z Smitty, right in the middle of this concatenation, right? This is the end part to the first one, and then an ampersand and a space, and then this is the first part of the second thing. If I control Z, you can see that we took the, uh, the last part of this, a space, and the last part of this is what we really want. So then all we have to do, actually, let me F9 that and then show you here. Uh, we can then uh, tell it to find this comma right here and that'll be the starting position we'll actually add one and get to that space and then we can say 
the length of this. And it will start right there and go exactly the length of that and take that middle part. So control Z, comma. Now we'll do our find. And we'll find what? Double quote, comma, double quote. And then the second argument is within what text right here? Zip. And we have to add one because we want to. We're f we'll find that first comma, but we need to add one to get to uh, that space. And then finally, comma len, and len of this will work just fine. Close parentheses on the mid. Now let's highlight this whole thing right here and see what it's actually doing. Hit the F9 key. So it got it exactly right. We just need to put the trim around the outside. Trim. Again, we could have added or subtracted a 1 inside somewhere and, uh, and done this a little bit differently. But the advantage to the trim, just as we saw here, is that if there's any other extra spaces, it gets rid of those also. Now I'm going to control. All right, we'll see you next trick.